that label as difficult because I said one word, and that was no. Now, I said no to some very powerful people. What Tyler Perry showed me, Lee Daniels, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, and Lionsgate, when you don't do what we ask you to do, we'll take your livelihood. I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Halle and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? Y'all, it looks like Tara G might be throwing Monique under the bus and declaring her support for Oprah just days after she openly spoke about how Oprah had been lowballing her and threatening to ruin her career. She is now back on Oprah team. Oh, and y'all remember how Monique offered her support to Taji and threatened to expose Oprah well Taji is now speaking against Monique and the streets are saying that she got that payola from Oprah. And that's why she's now throwing Monique under the bus. All better come in and have a seat because it's giving tea Oprah as a human being. She bleeds, she breathes, and one day she'll expire. And if you feel like there's something you need to say to anyone, I feel like you should say it. So it looks like Oprah is playing the divide and conquer game when it comes to the recent allegations that were brought against her by Taraji and Monique. And it looks like Oprah is playing chess while everybody else is still playing checkers. So in case I'll miss the tea off. Ra got drag F filled after Taraji and a couple of other actresses in the industry came out to talk about how she treats them at all started because she allegedly refuses to pay black actresses a fair living wage even though they deserve it. And she can clearly afford it. I mean, listen, she's literally a billionaire and it's not like she's struggling to make a movie but anyways the streets have been saying this about oprah all know the stories about how oprah underpays actresses and then she eats them into silence threatening to kill their careers and make sure that nobody would ever work with them in the industry so it was either they keep their mouth shut and took the bad treatment or they would have to wave their entire careers goodbye well teji recently started the ball rolling when she spoke for the first time about things that were going on throughout her career claiming that she had been underpaid in the industry for years, she revealed that she had been receiving the same pay since 2018, even though she had been getting more popular and getting more acknowledged in the industry in the same interview she claims that the offer she got from Oprah for the color purple was so low and she almost turned it down. It's a human being. She bleeds. She breathes, and one day she'll expire. And if you feel like there's something you need to say to anyone, I feel like you should say it. Yo, can you even wrap your head around this five whole years stuck in the same pay bracket, even though everyone's giving you props for being one of the most talented in the game? But it's more than just annoying, it's downright frustrating Zaji spilled the tea on this struggle in an interview. Oprah's friend Kel King not holding any anything back, she straight up admitted that she thought about leaving the entire industry because the paycheck just wasn't adding up, especially when you look at what the white actors were pulling in. I've seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Halle and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? But you know what's wild? This isn't some one-time thing black actresses have been shouting about this industry discrimination for ages. It's an ongoing battle because they're getting peanuts compared to their white counterparts, even though their achievements are on a whole another level Kiki Palmer. Back to Raji up in a long Instagram post where she revealed that black actresses often have to work multiple jobs just to make ends meet. She wrote the entertainment industry is just like any other in Ustry, we run businesses to keep our brands afloat us being the brand business. This is why no one can really have one job anymore for an entertainment career. You may be like me, an actor, influencer, host, singer, speaker. Except I keep a job because I have to, we all work multiple jobs and we make like some. But also because we have to having one job for anyone is not really an option no matter what industry unless you are like the top, 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 top earner. And I mean, that's like Bill Gates and them, I suppose.
Gabrielle Union also showed her support for Taraji on TikTok, where she talked about how black women in Hollywood have to work harder than anyone else for peanuts. You work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. The math ain't mathin'. Viola Davis has also chimed in on this conversation, putting the spotlight on how she's only getting a fraction of what's rightfully hers, even when everyone acknowledges her talents and the producers are full, fully aware that she should be making way more than what they're tossing her away they know. Her worth? They're just not willing to pay her. I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course, I'm going to have to work until it's the end because we can't retire. We don't make enough. Now Viola Davis, who has been held as one of the greatest actresses of our generation with an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony under her belt, is still wrestling career roadblocks. It's mind-boggling at this stage you think that she'd be beyond such struggles now if Viola is dealing with this still. You wonder how much worse Taji's situation is given her recent revelations and let me tell you, Taji seems to be in a really tough spot holding back tears in the interview well fans thought it was even worse. E. When Oprah, a black woman who intimately understands the challenges faced by black women in the industry, ended up being accused of the same mistreatment now that's what's disturbing Oprah sitting pretty as a billionaire not exactly bro. So why wouldn't she pay Taji what she deserves? Why go out of her way to lowball Taji when she could easily afford to pay it's shady to say the least. And I'm not suggesting Oprah needed to drop $10 million, but surely she could have thrown some more peanuts now. You Dean thinks someone at the pinnacle of success in the industry would do better, but this isn't Oprah's first dance with accusations of lowballing black women. She played a similar car with Monique after they collaborated on Precious, and that's why Monique tried to team up with Teji to take O down now for those, those of you who don't know, are not in the know allegedly Oprah, not only got Monique blacklisted in the industry, but she also took a swing at messing up Monique's entire life, the drama starting. In 2009, when Monique starred in Precious A film produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry, two black billionaires in Hollywood, the movie struck gold becoming a hit in Oprah, and Tyler decided to capitalize on the success with an international press tour to squeeze out even more publicity now. Press tours are normal in the industry biz because they're a solid way to give an extra boost to movies. Many films roll out elaborate plans that often include press tours by the main cast. So when Oprah and Tyler as Kid Monique to do a press tour, it wasn't exactly unheard of now. Here's the twist Monique got hit with the news that she wouldn't be pocketing a dime for the press tour because she wasn't going to be paid. But that's not all because not only was she expected to work for free, but she was also supposed to dip into her own pockets during the press runs covering most if not all of her expenses. Now this isn't the norm usually act don't have to pay out of pocket because the production covers all these costs, but Oprah wasn't feeling generous and tried to strong arm Monique into paying out of her own pocket. Yeah, the same Monique she lowballed for her role in Precious in the first place for some baffling reason. Oprah and Tyler Perry both swimming in millions thought it was alright for Monique to cough up her own cash to promote a movie they made millions from yeah the math just wasn't checking out and monique wasn't having it she put her foot down flat out refusing to work without getting pat i but monique standing her ground allegedly didn't sit well with oprah and allegedly oprah decided to take it up a notch and get monique cancelled in the industry now legally oprah couldn't force monique to work for free but she could make life incredibly challenging for her and that's allegedly Exactly what she did, rumor has that she's pulled strings with media outlets to spin stories about Monique having a diva attitude and being a tough person to work with now while Oprah didn't directly. Accuse Monique of being a diva and impossible to work with, she hinted strongly at it in an interview where she was asked why why she didn't address the Monique situation. She said it's impossible. It's a law that if you meet negative with negative, you will have a combustive negative force of energy. You can't meet negative energy where it is you have to rise above it. You have to transcend it. You have to be the light. It only takes a little bit of light to banish the darkness, and it takes a lot of date. 
darkness to overcome the light it takes just a little bit of light and we are warriors of the light i would never stow to try to meet somebody where they are negatively don't care who they are oprah didn't just throw shade at monique she went all in allegedly rally others to join the bandwagon and blacklist monique now word on the street is that she even threw around threats warning folks in the industry that their careers would be over if they didn't steer clear of monique in an interview with Steve Harvey Monique did not hold back calling him out for playing both sides despite Steve allegedly privately expressing support and having her back. He threw her under the bus in public claiming he couldn't help because she supposedly burned too many bridges.